Hi, welcome to this Code Maps primary video on timetables. There's lots of different timetables which you might need to read. For instance, a bus timetable or a train timetable, or whenever you get to secondary school, uh, your timetable for your lessons. Um, each one might be slightly different, but in this video, we're gonna look at a typical bus timetable. So here we've got a typical bus timetable, and you've got the towns on the left-hand side, Southville, Lake, Milton, Newtown, Red Island, South, uh, Sandville, and Bakerstown. And they're all the places that the bus will stop. And there's going to be three buses because there's three columns. This is the first bus, this is the second bus, and this is the third bus. And this time we'll say that the first bus will leave Southville at 9.18 and it'll arrive at Leek at 9.28. Then it will arrive in Milton at 9.41 and it'll arrive in Newtown at 9.49. It'll arrive in Red Island at 9.55. It'll arrive in Sandville at, at 10.13 and it'll arrive in Bakerstown at 10.31. And that's the bus finished its journey. So it starts at Southville, it finishes at Bakerstown, and these are the places that it stops and the times that it stops there at. This is then the second bus, so it starts at 10.38, it arrives at Lake at 10.48, and so on and so on and so on, and finally stops at Bakerstown at 11.51. And the last bus, it's got these dashes in. That means it doesn't stop at these locations. It doesn't stop at Lake, Milton, Newtown, or Sandville. So it goes straight from Southville to Red Island, and then from Red Island to Bakerstown. Maybe it's what we call an express bus. Maybe it goes on the motorway rather than going through some smaller towns or villages. Okay, so this is a typical timetable, and let's answer some questions on it now. So, uh, we've got the same timetable, and it says a bus leaves Southville at 10.38. So we're looking at this bus here that leaves Southville at 10.38. And the question says, at what time does the bus arrive in Milton? So as we see here, Milton, in the second column, it arrives at 11.01. .01. So it arrives at 11.01. .01. And the question says, how long does the journey last? So if it leaves Southville at 10.38, um, if we add 22 minutes, plus 22 minutes, that will be 11 o'clock, okay? Because obviously if you add two minutes, it's 10.40, and another 20, that would be 11 o'clock. And then another one minute would bring us to 11.01. .01. So that means altogether, the journey has lasted 23 minutes. And that's it. So the journey from Southville to Milton lasts 23 minutes. Okay, next. Right, so the next part says, Alex wants to travel from Red Island, so here, to Sandville. So two stops that are next to each other. He arrives at Red Island at half past 10. Okay, so if he arrives at Red Island at half past 10, he won't be able to catch the 9.55 bus, okay? Because obviously that's before he arrived. Um, he could catch the 11.15 bus or he could catch the 12.36 bus. So it says, how long must Alex wait until the next bus? So the next bus that Alex could catch at Red Island is this one here at 11.15, okay? Uh, because obviously he arrives at half past 10 and that's the first bus he can catch at that time. Okay, so um, half past 10, it says, how long must he wait? So from half past 10 until 11.15. So from half past 10, if he waits 30 minutes, that's 11 o'clock, so 11 o'clock, that's for 30 minutes. And then to 11.15, that will be another 15 minutes. So that's all together, it's going to be 45 minutes. And then the next question says, how long does the journey last? So he's traveling to Sandville, which is the next town, so here, and he arrives there at 11, uh, 11.33. So he gets the bus at 11.15, so 11.15, well, 15 minutes would be 11.30, and then another three minutes would be 11.33. So also go about 15 and 3, that's 18 minutes the journey lasts. And that's it. So whenever you're reading a timetable for a bus or a train and so on, each column represents a different bus or a different train. The times represent what time it sort of leaves the first place and then gets to all the other stops. And if you want to work out how long a journey lasts, just sort of count up how much time it takes to get from, you know, wherever the journey starts and, and ends. And that's it.